got you've kind of got two kits in one for this demo um this was the original design um i built this up sort of layer on layer um and i loved it so much but the actual start of it is made up of these so i actually used one of the other kits to just take the center bit out and make those and while i've been making it through the pieces i'll even give you an extra one as well as well as some of the earrings so you can see um the different ways I build it up. So we're going to start um, with four of the Vibe Duos. So I'm going to move these out of the way now. There we go. And you're going to use four of the Vibe Duos. And I've put them on. So you've got a number 11, a number 8 and number 11, then a Vibe Duo, 8118 Vibe Duo. No, scratch that. 11811 Vibe Duo. 11 8 11 vibe duo 11 8 11 vibe duo now all the vibe duos they're a double drilled bead as you've been hearing they've all um gone through the same hole i'm going to call, call these the top drill hole and the bottom so they've all gone through the top so if i hang them up they all drop down okay so these are all on the same way all all i've got extra to that is some beading thread a needle and some snips or scissors okay so I'm going to tie a knot in these so you don't actually need um, a, a um, stopper bead I mean I put one on only because I didn't want to pick them up and lose all the beads during the demo so I'm going to try tie three half hitches or you can do a surgeon's knot if you prefer make sure you don't catch that first bead in your knot because it will just alter the way it sits. So I'm just going to ease that through and pull it tight. Okay, so you've got your first motif. And again, any stages of these you can use. They're so versatile. So I'm now going to add on three of the 11s. And I'm coming out of that hole. Well, I've, I've gone from the, the, the knot. And I'm going back in through the same hole we've used before. So I'm just going to go all round all four of them. Four, adding on three beads each time. Just mind your tail. You can if you want. There we go. Make sure it's not hooked up. You can if you want um, feed that uh, through now the tail and trim off. Let me just one, two, three, and the last three. There we go. One, two, come here. Three. Okay. So now we've come, we've got our motif. This is what the bracelet is made up of. So the difference is this has got the beads with, this is a complete kit. This has got the Vibe Duos from this kit and the seed beads from this kit. So this is kind of a crossover between the two. It just works better for the, for the, for the demo and the lighting here. So now we've got to there, we want to come out a level. So we're going to go through the first two of those uh, three 11s and then we're going to add on one 11 and three of the eights so we're stepping out now so we're going to go to the outer or top hole and you want these to sit in a nice triangle so if they come like that just tweak that in and encourage them into that sort of triangular format so we're going to have three of the eight O's. One, two, three, and one of the elevens. Then we're going to go through the middle one of the elevens. So that's every time you buy the elevens, you put on an eleven first, then three of the eights. Then you go through the unused hole of the Vibe Duo. Then you go three of the eights if you buy the wipe duo and one of the elevens to go back in through that eleven. So again, you're going to do this all the way around. One, two. So I'm going to take one more of those. You keep going all the way around until you get to this stage here. Now this stage, again, you could build these up 
together like that attach them there have a bracelet attach them there have a bracelet if you skip back a stage you can let me put them like that you can attach them every other and have a bracelet as well so there's a lot of versatility with this with this um motif move that one out of the way so once we've got to this stage we've got one more layer to do we're going to go up through two of your three eight o's now there's two different types you've got the eight o's with the wide duo in the middle and you've got the eight o's with the elevens in the middle every time you've got an eleven in the middle we're going to put the next of your wide duos in so we're going to put two of the elevens and we're going through the bottom or closer um, hole of the wide duos two more elevens and into that eight o. See, so the second drill hole is sticking outwards. When you come to the wipe duo part, you're going to go through that last eight o, through the wipe duo. Then you're going to pull your thread so that it comes between the wipe duo and the eight o, and you're going to put on three elevens. And you're going to go back through that wipe duo hole. Pull again between so that it comes between the eights and the wide duo, and then your three seed beads, three um, elevens will sit comfortably. Go through the next two of three eight o's. So we've got the elevens in the middle, so we want to add a wide duo, two elevens, wide duo, two elevens in through that next eight. And then you keep going till you've got your complete square. Now, once you've got those complete squares, you want three of them to do the necklace. Sorry, let me just undo that. So you want three of them to do the necklace. And we're attaching them in this format. Okay, so if I fetch that necklace back in, you can see we've got the three together. Okay, so you join them. If I was adding another one, it would be there. So you're joining them, uh, the two ends to the two ends. Now, when you want to join them, fetch your thread. So you go all the way around your wipe uh, with your wipe duo layer, and then finish with your thread coming out of the wipe duo. So you've got the four wipe duos, and your threads coming out. So you've gone back through to there. Then we're going to step out to the next layer. So we're going to go. You're going to have a little um, thread bridge. You see, just sitting over there, will you be able to see it? But you, you'll never see it. It might slip even round the back and just be across here. You're never going to see it, um, so I wouldn't worry about it. Then you're going to pick up an 8 o and go through the corresponding wipe duo on the other side. Now, I thought I could do it with my left hand, but I can't. It's a little step too far. Some of them have a little bit of dirt at the end, but they should all go through. Okay, there we go. So you go through there, work your thread, come back around through your wipe duo. Now you can do this in two ways. You can either go back through there and along um, or I would work my thread through to this one this end and do the same that end and tie them together and again if you wanted to you could tie them and make a thicker bracelet in that format so have fun with these oh and the chain part all I've done is two elevens an eight two elevens so you've got um, then you're going through one joint one and two elevens so you start with two elevens and an eight then you have five elevens and eight five elevens and an eight go all the way to the length you want coming back down that length you want two elevens eight two elevens and then through that middle um eleven and back so you're doing the same as you've done here you've got your 
your five elevens, but one of them's being used for both lots. And it just gives you this nice chain, which grows quite quickly. And there you have your necklace.